What is going on guys, it's Crazy Pickle with another Skyforge tutorial for the third distortion of the Oceanite. So this is gonna be the easy one, I'm not gonna uh, go over every boss's ability because it's just not necessary. So I'm just gonna tell you what classes you need to play uh, and then what you need to do and how you do it. So the first thing is it's gonna be two teams. One team which is goes to inside of the dome, it's probably gonna be only three or four people. One person gonna be a Berserker, then Soundweaver, Linebinder. So pretty much th it can only be three people inside of the Doom. The rest of the people will be outside of a Doom, which is the tank, second a Lightbinder, and then the rest of the DPS. So outside what you need to do is simply kill as when they spawn from the eggs. Tank of course gonna tank and Lightbinder gonna use only the Flood. You don't need to use anything else, just only flood and you should be fine. So, on the third clutch, when the ad spawns, spark will drop. So what you need to do, the person has to go to that spark from outside team and throw it inside of the dome. So when you do that, the person who's inside of the dome can grab the spark. On that phase, when you throw the spark inside of a dome, the boss will actually have a shield. So the person who is signed for a god will grab the spark and will break the shield. After that, it's only a matter of time when you switch to the alchemist and then you call for the full buff and then hopefully either you kill with one spark, with one burst, or you might, might gonna have to get the second spark to finish the boss off. So usually if you drop boss fast enough, or lower enough, the second spark will drop right away, so anyone can pick it up and try to finish the boss. One little note for players who go under the dome, sometimes boss doing a little spinning, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but still kinda stay a little bit far away from that, that it's not gonna hit you, so... And the other part that boss actually does, it's kinda like drop the water puddles on a random player inside of a dome. So just don't stand on that too, because it does damage over time. So it's not hitting or hurting a lot, but still if you're gonna just keep standing there, it's definitely gonna kill you. So yes guys, this is the easiest distortion in Oceanites. So let's recap. So what you need to do, one team, which is Berserker, Soundweaver and Lightbinder go under the dome. Berserker or player who gonna play Berserker, which is usually high prestige players, will be also as a god when the god uh, spark will drop. So, and pretty much what you need to do inside of a dome, just wait until the spark drops and the outside team will throw that spark under the dome. And outside team, which is the tank, extra light binder, which only gonna use flood to get that little buff for your team, and the rest of it is just simply DPS. So outside team, simply killing ads and waiting until the spark will drop and any person can come up to the spark and throw that spark under the dome. Pretty simple, right? Just killing ads outside. So when the outside team threw the spark under the dome, Berserker, who's assigned as a god, will take the spark, break the shield on a boss, which is gonna be very simple, and then use the god's might as a Berserker and then switch to Alchemist, call for the full buff from Lightbinder, which is Blessing and Ultimate Ability, and the Ultimate Ability from Soundweaver. Use your God's Army as an Alchemist, and then do the full rotation, which is the Biotrap, Shower, if you do have a Demon Weapon, use the Terminal, and then use the Stimulate Injection to activate the Talent, and drop everything on the boss. So, and hopefully you will gonna kill that boss just with one burst, if not, like I said, the lower you drop the boss's health, the second spark might drop as well. So anybody can pick it up and finish the boss off. Alright guys, this is it for this video. So if you liked it, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And activate notification that you won't miss new video I post. You can also follow me on Twitter at CrazyPickle7 and join my Discord server. All the links will be in the description. Until the next time, take care.